All right, let's get going. Hey, listen to that. Put, 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 put. <laughs> How cute. All right, let's get going. All right, so I'm not really feeling going on to the interstate again for right now. So we're gonna take a side road. Like this bike can do it, but it's definitely not something that it should be doing very often. It's so light, I'm already getting pushed around. Alright, so this is a little side road that runs parallel to 80 up until uh, American Canyon, which is where we'll be going. Now the very first time I took this bike back from my sister's place to my place, uh, this is the road I took. And I remember being so nervous about it, I actually had my dad follow me in our truck. Now this little gear position indicator, I actually installed that because one time uh, I was taking uh, this road back and at, for some reason I was just too dumb to realize that I was in like third or fourth gear when I really needed to be in top gear. Yep, someone got pulled over. Oh no no no, that's that abandoned car that I saw on the way up here. So more or less, this bike is completely stock. Uh, haven't really done anything to it since it was just a learner bike. I have seen some really cool uh, accessories and aftermarket parts, but they all come from Thailand. And I already ordered a, a radiator guard for the Bonneville from Thailand. That I, uh, it's already been a month and it still hasn't arrived yet. So I don't know about international shipping, but definitely want to like. I don't know, it'd be nice to put some aftermarkets on this thing. <laughs> like, I don't know, there's some fairings that actually look pretty cool that would cover up how bare the bottom of this bike is. I mean, I have no problem with it, but I don't know, I think, you know, things can be done to make a bike look nice. Like, even, even something as simple as a chain guard. Like, the stock chain guard of this thing isn't very pretty just kind of a, a chunk of plastic. Yeah. Sorry, just making sure that the camera's on. Like, I didn't want to use the little uh, mono speaker that I'm supposed to put in the helmet that gives you uh, device updates, just because I don't know, I don't, I, I don't have room for another one because I already have my cardo system in here. So yeah, check this out. We're going about 50 miles an hour and look how vibey these mirrors are. They're just kind of awful. <laughs> also wouldn't mind changing the exhaust. Like I really, I don't know what what you can do to this thing. I don't know. I don't even know if you could take the catalytic converter out of this. <laughs> like that would do anything, but I don't know. I just feel like this bike should grunt a little more, have a lower, you know, a lower a lower timbre. So this is actually going to be the same road that I took the, the first time I tested the Cena camera. 
Not you're turning. Because you know, the ratio of people who actually do use their turn signals here is uh, kind of sad. Oh, this little, this little putt putt exhaust is just so cute. Yeah, so it was along this road where I thought that, uh, I don't know, I was too dumb to realize I wasn't in the right gear. Like, I should have been in a higher gear. So that kind of prompted me to get uh, this little gear indicator. And it actually works wonders. It's just the programming was kind of a pain in the ass, but it wasn't too difficult. So another thing that I found that I kind of don't like about uh, the current setup on this bike is just how narrow these handlebars are. I don't know, I just feel like I'm... I, I, they make it real easy to grip super hard. So I'm actually getting uh, tired. <laughs> Yeah, so when I put gas earlier, I was down to one, one bar. Uh, and I'm not, I don't remember exactly how much, how far that will get me, but it only cost me about six dollars to fill up this tank, which is nice. Of course, that was uh, 87, uh, 87 grade gas, uh, whereas in the Bonneville, I put 91. All right, so I'm going to test something right now. This, this uh, stop light does not trigger for bicycle or for motorcycles. I've, do, uh, I've never had this trigger for me. Uh, the first time I had my Bonneville, the first day, I came back this way and I was with my, my brother-in-law and it's Harley. Oh, what the hell? It changed. That's new. <laughs> that doesn't usually happen. Okay. Well. Okay, we'll just, uh, we'll just go this way then. I wasn't expecting that to happen. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, <laughs> back to the story. The very first day I had my Bonneville, I took, uh, I took that road coming home and my brother-in-law was uh, following me on the Harley and that's where we uh, decided to split up. And we were waiting there for a while both bikes, both the Bonneville and the, uh, his uh, Road Glide, it, that light would not turn. So I'm thinking, okay, here I am on the Rebel. Uh, that's probably not going to change, but yeah, maybe they readjusted it. Funny. Yeah, it feels kind of nice coming back here with this mo uh, particular motorcycle after riding the, um, the Bonneville for so long. Like the last time I had this bike, I was just not very confident in my riding abilities yet. Uh, I don't know, it's just, I, I was still a little scared, but now I'm, I don't know, I'm much more confident. So riding this bike is even more of a pleasure. And honestly, I don't think I could have asked for a better uh, learner's motorcycle. Uh, the only thing, well not the only thing, but like something I wish I had uh, was an actual gear position indicator. You know, one I didn't have to install, but I know the 2020 Rebel 300s, uh, they have a gear position indicator. 
So that's, uh, that's really nice. Although, I think they should have added in attack as well. Especially if, you know, if, you know, most people who are going to buy a Rebel 300, especially 300, are going to be beginners. I think including attack would be much more helpful than just learning or, you know, trying to learn, force yourself to learn to listen to the engine. Plus, I'm just not a fan of these single clocks. Alright, so we're headed, coming up on home, so catch you guys later.